everybody, this is Marta here on YouTube. Today I have a very exciting video for all of you. This is my second Ella Air inspired uh, makeup tutorial, makeup look. My nose is itchy. Achoo. No, not you. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, Ella Air is one of my favorite singers, one of my favorite artists out in the world right now. She is very awesome. I think she's very true to herself and she always wears this impeccable makeup. So today I decided to finally do one uh, inspired by her, you know, her very natural, very glowing, very bronzy skin with the dark lips. So yeah, if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then keep on watching. Since Ella Air has a lot of very natural skin and natural looks and just the lips are really, um, her lips and her brows are really the big, big focal point, I'm going to start with my face. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this is the Pore Minimizing one. I bought this a while back and I still have a lot of it, which is kind of surprising. For foundation today, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. The first one is my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing, Nourishing Waterproof, and this is NC42. And I'm going to be mixing it with the foundation Healthy Mix um, by Vorjoa. And to those two, uh, Ella kind of has a lot of not glitter but a lot of glow from her skin and i'm gonna be using the becca shimmer skin perfector in opal as well so i'm just gonna mix all of this just applying this to everywhere in my face this and this is the Miracle Complexion Sponge, I think it's called, from Beauty, from Beauty Real, <laughs> from Real Techniques. Okay, so got my foundation done. I don't really like a lot of coverage and I have seen her skin is basically perfect. So I'm not even going to try to recreate something like that. I am going to apply my Becca Under Eye Brightener uh, to my under eyes, obviously, because... They're not that dark, but they are a little bit darker than usual. My Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. You guys know I love both of this. Concealers. I'm just going to blend this. that's done I'm gonna apply my setting powder this is my Mac um, mineralizer skin finish and this is in medium And for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use one of my old favorites, if I can open it. And this is the Sleek Luminous Press Powder SPF 15, and this is in 03. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it has kind of a glitter or a sheen to it. So it looks very, very pretty, and actually looks very natural on the skin. So it gives you more glow, which is exactly what we want with um, Ella's skin. So this eye is basically already done. I only have to put on my eyelashes, which are, uh, the glue is drying right now. And I'm going to start with this eye. So her makeup, her face is very, very natural. So I decided to use the most natural eyeshadows I have. So the first one is Strength. And I do believe this is from the um, Coffee Break with Danny Quad. I'm not sure. I'm just applying this one with my fingers all over my eyes. Getting it all the way to the brow bone, just because it will give a sheen that I quite like actually. This is a very nice everyday natural makeup look. 
So now the next eyeshadow I'm gonna be using is Cornelius. This is from the this is from the Kathleen Lights um, quad. I think this is from the second quad. I'm not sure. And I'm using a Real Techniques uh, base shadow brush. This is a synthetic brush, if I'm not wrong. So it blends out the eyeshadow perfectly and very easily as well. Okay, like that. Now, I'm going to do also my bottom lash line and with the same eyeshadow and just a pencil brush. This is natural bristle. Um, it blends better with synthetic bristles, but whatever. We're just going to roll with it today. And it's a super natural makeup. I don't think I've done... It's such a natural makeup in a while now and I'm gonna take I don't know where it is oh I'm gonna take a real technique um, something brush detailer brush maybe I don't know and I'm just gonna apply the first eyeshadow which was its strength and I'm just gonna place it onto my inner corner to highlight just a little bit okay the pencil underneath my eyes, I'm using my Rimmel Eyes um, Nude Cajal Pencil. I always use this one. Oh, I'm going to do my lashes. I curled my eyelashes. This is my model's own eyelash curler. I love this stuff. This is great. I really recommend it to you guys. And I'm going to be using my Better Than Sex mascara today. Oh, I'm going to have a video on how I apply false lashes. So you guys don't have to worry about that. the lashes on and the glue drying on them we are gonna move on to the next step and we are gonna bronze and highlight um, Ella normally doesn't use uh, that much blush uh, at least I haven't seen a lot of blush in her pictures so we're just gonna bronze and um, and highlight so for bronzer today guess what I'm using my Kiko cosmetics one this you can buy in Europe I don't know if you can get um, Kiko Cosmetics in the United States. To be honest, I haven't, I haven't looked. So, I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna be applying this kind of all over my face to my cheeks, as if it was my high, my highlight, my blush, my forehead. Kind of really bronze up the skin. What time is it? It's summertime, anticipation. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using my Champagne Pop highlight. This is the Becca Cosmetic and Jacqueline Hill um, collab, which I haven't bought. I I didn't bought. So I'm just. now we're gonna move on to the lips I'm gonna be using two different uh, lip products the first one is my lippy pencil from Colourpop and this is in Creature and for the lipstick I'm gonna be using the soft matte lip cream by NYX in Transylvania so I'm gonna start with the um, lip pencil So yes guys, that was the whole video. I don't know why I'm ending all of my videos, so yes guys.
But anyway, that was the whole video. I hope you guys like it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. And I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye!